Okay, guys, welcome to the Chosen One podcast show. If you landed on this podcast episode, you are probably a manifesting generator and a female entrepreneur, coach, or expert. So welcome, take a cup of tea, and listen, binge listen to all the amazing episodes I have set up for you. Episodes to help you create the right energy and mindset to create the manifesting generator business and life of your dreams. Here we go. Good morning. Rise and shine. <laughs> it's 11.20 in the morning. I am in my mom's car on my way to yet another photo shoot for one of my dear clients who has done several portals with me and has made such an enormous transformation from the inside out that it's now actually time to capture that on camera so i'm really excited the whole car is like packed with boxes and i have a lot of clothing and i'm really excited and uh, of course i made a um a uh, it's not really a mood board but it's kind of a mood board with like four specific words sentences that i want to capture today for her one of them being her really adventurous side as a three five profile in human design she's a manifesting generator three five so i had a real cool download around that and i'm really hoping we can capture that on video on video and on the camera it's always like it's always like interesting right because i have these ids up front and then it's like okay can we create it but i'm pretty sure we'll we'll create some beautiful magic so she's on her way from belgium right now to um to the studios here in um, nearby amsterdam so i'm really excited i'm also a little bit tired because uh as most of you know probably if you have been listening to my podcast longer is that i have a beautiful daughter we have a beautiful daughter she's turning two in october and i'm still breastfeeding her 24 7 and currently she's getting her her corner teeth she's a little late with uh, with getting her teeth like yeah she's a little late with that and um um so she's getting her four corner teeth at once and that sort of basically means whenever that happens she just like she will not stop drinking she will like just be with me almost all day and all night to drink like every time it's like tritra tritra which is her word for drinking so i can really sense that in my body that my body feels a little bit shaky and it's like oh my god i'm working so hard and we were laughing in the car yesterday because we were sitting in the car and we heard this radio um, uh, uh, news we heard something on the news about like milk cows how they can actually turn like their average age is around 15 or something but because they have to milk so much they only get to the age of six so <laughs> i was joking to my husband i was like well that's me like oh sophie could have been like she could have turned 90 but she's she went away at 40 <laughs> because she had to make, make give so much milk no i'm just joking but it is like it's a little intense on the body sometimes so i'm really like taking my mom's words in and she's like you have to eat properly and you have to listen to your body so i actually ate my lunch right now at 11 because i was just like so hungry I'm just like I'm just gonna honor my body I'm gonna listen to my body and I'm just gonna do whatever it tells me to do to sort of like have the energy that it needs to just be active right I just need to remind myself that I need to eat properly or at least enough uh, while breastfeeding so intensely I will have to say if you ever want to lose weight <laughs> breastfeeding is a great way because I have never been at like this like 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 this weight that I currently have it's like I just like have to try not to lose weight so anyways uh, you're like okay Sophie interesting but what is this podcast about I'm like not quite sure what it is about I just have this commitment with myself and with the universe 
that I show up every week for the podcast show and I just really felt like giving you guys a little update about what is going on behind the scenes. I've actually manifested a new team member which I'm so excited about and uh, it sort of happened without me even noticing that it happened which are the most fun manifestations in my opinion sometimes you want something for such a long time and then at the moment you sort of surrender to the fact that to your current situation and you just let go of the desire but you still have the desire if you get what i mean then all of a sudden it happens and it shows up and this is sort of what happened with my va desire so when i ran my business in 2000 and 17 I started my online business and in 2019 we had become really big and I had like a team with like three or four women in there and um, I have like great experiences with working with um, with other people but they were like they are all currently not working for me I'm at a different place in my life and a different place in my business they have all moved on so I really felt like it was time to like manifest new soul aligned like uh, like-minded sisters into my energy field to help me support me in my bigger mission in really growing the business it is growing significantly and it's getting busier and I'm really on a very like I'm on the roll I really I'm, I'm creating a lot of things I have a lot of ideas and basically maybe this is where, where this episode should be about like when do you know when to hire in my case i would say i hire when i find myself not being able to keep up with myself so basically when i started my business in 2017 i did everything myself right i did the ads i did the uh, i did like all the copy all the content all the emails like all the customer support the coaching of course like i did everything myself and at a certain point i just felt like oh my god i'm just like so i'm so creative i have so many ideas i have so much to put out there i literally can't put up with myself and that's like basically the moment i start outsourcing and this is basically the moment i hit in my business right now as well right i mean i transitioned last year to uh, a business fully focused on manifestation generators and international clients basically i got the download last year from god who said like okay you have to like sort of burn everything down start from scratch and literally focus exclusively on manifesting generators and international clients at that moment i had literally no clue on how to do that i was like what the f are you asking from me i'm not able to do that um the business wasn't going as well as i was used to so there was literally like i had to say goodbye to everything i was making all the money literally start all over again and i did and in that beginning phase i find it in my own situation very important that i'm hands-on in my business everything myself right so of course i started doing everything myself again started making photos again writing copy testing the ads uh writing emails and the reason why i really prefer doing that myself in the begin stage beginning stage is because you need to get a sense of what is going on in your business right you need to get a sense of what is working we as manifestation generators have the responsive strategy if you don't know what that is i have like several episodes recorded about that and you can definitely join my next free masterclass where i will be going deeper into our specific human design profile as well it's on the 5th of september uh, at 12 p.m it's going to be a live human design reading where i'm really gonna like um, channel an amazing reading based on our human design profile and really look for one specific way that you can actually make money with your sales mission through your human design profile so it's going to be really fun i will put the link to join this specific uh, masterclass um, in the description of the podcast show but we have the responsive strategy and the responsive strategy basically means that we need something to respond to right so we do not do very well by sitting behind a desk and just be like okay now i have to create something and 
write it and send it to, for example, my VA or your ads manager. In a later stage in your business, this will work and I will explain you why. But in the begin stages, I really believe you have to do it yourself. You have to experiment. You have to like live through your emails. You have to like go through them. You have to feel like, okay, what is the what is the tone of voice I want to use? You want to experiment. And when you actually have a VA in the beginning of your business or an ads manager asking you to deliver content, well, you are not at that place yet that you can fully understand what your message is. And you're sort of like in that phase of like trying out, like really experimenting and exploring what is my specific message. That's why you that's like the phase that you really want to do it yourself because if you for example in that situation have a VA or an ads manager say like okay I need a copy for this specific ad and you're just like oh my god I don't even know what my messaging is you're basically paying a lot of money to a VA or a uh, ads manager and you're basically wasting your time and your money in that stage because you do not have the clarity required for like required for working together with a VA or a um, ads manager. So this is why I always say at the beginning of your business, when you're still sort of exploring your message, if you're still sort of like, like you're not, you don't have that full clarity on what it is that you do, what your gift is, what you want to focus on. I would really suggest like doing it all yourself. But like I said, there comes this turning point. And for me, this turning point came a couple of like, I think a couple of weeks ago that I really felt like, okay, I have experimented like almost a complete year now. I have done so many things in my business. I have done like almost 10 free masterclasses. Um, I've done paid masterclasses. I've done a lot of experimental portals. I have sent out a ton of emails, recorded so many podcast episodes. And through all that work, through doing the actual work, I got the clarity and I get more clarity each and every day about what it is that I do. It's never at the end station because it always changes, right? The clarity that I have around my current soul's mission will change for sure. This is one thing I have learned in my business. It always changes, right? My, my soul's mission in 2017 was different than it is now. It always changing. But you get to a point that you're like, oh my God, like this is what I'm really good at. This is what I'm really excited about. And this is what I want to focus on, at least for the upcoming period, right? And for manifestation generators, I always say like work in like three months, three months like phases that will really help you just like I, I sort of evaluate every three months. Like, am I still doing what really lights me up? Basically, I came to the conclusion I have done so much and I hope you listen to what I'm saying. I got the clarity by doing the work. I got the clarity by hosting like almost 10 different free masterclasses. I got the clarity by doing a lot of free masterclasses, but also like lower priced uh, paid masterclasses. I got the clarity by offering like high priced healing portals and high priced masterminds and other programs that I did last year. So if you are at the beginning stage of your new business, I mean, maybe you have already had a business, but you want to start like really making money with your true soul's mission. Maybe you're at that point where I was last year. Um, then you really want to start off with like, just start doing it. And I feel like this is something that a lot of entrepreneurs do not understand that you get the clarity by doing right you do not get the clarity by sitting in a room behind a desk waiting for the inspiration to come no you give a master class and then you're like okay i like this part of it and maybe i didn't like that part of it and then you tweak it around right some of the master class i hosted i would not do in the same way as i did it before but it gave me so much clarity about what i did want and what i didn't want right so when we're coming back to the theme like showing up as a CEO in your business this is a very important mindset shift that you want to make, right? You want to make that mindset shift of knowing that whatever you do, it leads to more clarity. And it's not always only about making the sales. Of course, making sales is a, a very big part of my business and what I do in my business. But everything I do, I learn something from it. And I take those lessons with me 
until I get to the point that I'm like, oh my God, now I have the clarity and now I get to a speed that I literally cannot keep up with myself and then I know that I need to outsource. But I know exactly how my email programs worked. I know exactly how to make a funnel in my email program if I would want to. I know exactly how I run ads. I know how to make a target audience. I know every single step. And I believe it is very important to know those basics before you start outsourcing it. Because if you start outsourcing it from a place of not knowing and just like throwing it over the fence and be like, I don't know how to do it, so you figure it out, in my experience that really costs a lot of money you will waste money and you will not get the outcome you truly desire and I truly believe when you want to show up as a CEO of your specific business that it's super important to be informed like really hands-on CEOs of their company understand what is going on on every level of their business they do not execute them executed themselves anymore because basically their time is just way too precious and expensive to to spend their time on creating like a simple email funnel or anything but they know how to do it like any good ceo understands what is going on in their business on every single level and this is like uh interesting another like i thought it would be like a five-part series but it's not like it this is like becoming i think the sixth part in this in the ceo series like really when do you know how to hire somebody this is your answer your answer is when you understand the basics in your business when you have some level of clarity about what it is that you do and when you feel like you cannot keep up with yourself anymore when you're going so fast you're like oh my god I need somebody to outsource this and i actually created a very uh like i believe efficient efficient system in my business when i work with other people i actually work with trello a lot which really allows me to work in a very aligned way with my um people who support me in my business i only work with people that are entrepreneurs themselves as well i have always done that and that really gives me the freedom to not be stuck to like a specific salary that i have to pay every month basically how i do it is i have like a overview on how much i want to spend per month on outsourcing stuff and within that budget i will just outsource whatever i need to outsource to give me peace of mind so that i can actually show up as a ceo of my business and like you have to understand when you're a coach like me or when you're an expert or like an, a consultant or whatever your business con- like it contains out of different layers right you are actually doing the actual work right the coaching because that's a big part of my work as well like coaching my clients in order for me to be the best coach for my clients i need like space in my mind right if i do not have peace of mind i cannot provide them the best coaching so this is one of the big reasons why i outsource so i can show up as the best version of myself for my clients then another part is that i really need a peace of mind to be able to record these episodes and to to make sure i do my sales and all of that and in order for me to do that i also need a peace of mind and know like okay i have somebody who can actually as soon as i record an episode does all the other steps right because there are so many steps involved so really it's starting to rain really hard and that's not what they predicted but i hope it will pass um but really that's what it's about right your your being a coach and an expert is not just being a coach you have to run your business as a ceo or at least that's the type of women i work with i i work with the type of women who are who don't only want to be a coach or an expert and want to work from nine to five i really work with soul-led ceos that want like manifestation generators that want to be the ceos of their unique business right that want to grow their business that want to be a very good version of themselves in all areas of their business and who actually like 
being an entrepreneur because I freaking love being an entrepreneur. I love all the facets of my business. And I truly believe that if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to be a successful entrepreneur, right? You have to love it. If you don't love it, then 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 don't bother, right? But it's actually a very fun process if you understand how how you how you show up as a CEO. And basically, there's just a simple three-step process I use to always show up as a CEO in my business. It's the exact principle I like. I teach you in the MG Dream Academy. And I don't really actually teach you. I just like I work with you through that three-step program, right? So we just like do calls every single week. We literally show up in our business every single week and we do the work, right? It's not me telling you, like coaching you per se and saying, okay, this is your assignment. Uh, Have fun. No, we're really working in your business, helping you to show up as the CEO of your business. And that's what I love doing most. That's what I'm best at creating like spaces, really high frequency containers where people immediately get into that CEO mindset and start getting the downloads to actually take shit in their business to the next level. So really excited about what's actually birthed into reality during this episode. Um, It's always a surprise for me when I start recording, like what is it that they really want from me? But I'm happy. I'm happy about the outcome. A beautiful episode about how to know when to hire or outsource your task as a manifesting generator in your business. Okay, excited, have fun. Um, And um, yes, if you want to work with me, um, there are currently two ways you can do that. There is the MG Selling Queen Masterclass, which is like a freaking amazing masterclass that really helps you to come up with at least one thing you can do this week to make money, okay? Like I said, I'm all about short-term results and long-term results. And short-term results literally means you just need to make money so that your business has the oxygen to live, right? So this is basically what I teach you in the MG Selling Queen Masterclass. Like I literally teach you how to come up with at least one thing, but we're doing five (laughs) things that you can do this week to actually make money this week, okay? Even if you do not have an offer ready yet, or if you do not have clarity around your messaging, it doesn't matter. There is a way to make money this week, and I'm going to show you how in this masterclass. It's only 38 euros. You can sign up through sophiedipmar.com slash selling queen, and you will get immediate access to that masterclass. You will absolutely love it if you're a manifesting generator. If you love this podcast, I would highly, 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 highly recommend you buying that masterclass. So that's basically sort of like a very small tip in the toe offer. And then if you're like Sophie, I'm just like so ready to start showing up as the CEO of my unique MG business. I have done so many things. I've tried it all, but I really feel like now it's time to step up my game to really start making money with my true soul's mission. Then the MG Dream Academy is basically the place to be. You can go to sophiedipmar.com slash um mg dream academy and you will find all the information it's an evergreen program meaning that you can get in every month so whenever you listen to this you can just sign up you will start with the preparation phase and after the preparation phase you will start the first tuesday of the month after you signed up so you can find all the information on that specific sales page okay um basically that's it i will put all the links in the description of this podcast show and i will speak to you soon or maybe i will catch you in one of my amazing portals whether that will be like the mg selling queen masterclass or the dream academy that's really up to you just like basically decide for yourself am i ready to tip in a toe or am i sort of like ready to go all freaking in okay like I said, the MG Dream Academy, uh, the MG Selling Queen is actually an amazing way to sort of get to know my energy a little bit better, understand how I work with my clients, and um, yeah, get a feeling of what the energy is like when you are in a paid portal with me. 
Love you guys. Have an amazing day and we'll talk soon.